Hello everybody, how's it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at the money messages from the candle wax as much as possible. I was meditating on this idea for a while and when I was meditating on it, I saw a lot of things that I have to give you some type of a warning. Somebody is trying to feed off of your energy. Somebody is just like acting, oh, it's not a big deal. Oh, it's not an important thing. Oh, it's just a small you know, negligence. So it is not, it has a meaning and it has some type of an agenda. We are going to look at what it could be about, but I didn't like it. Something is just like lurking in, trying to find a way into your life to get something out of you, some type of reaction, some type of maybe money some type of advantage, some type of opportunity. They try to get something out of you because they know that they cannot have it by themselves. They cannot have it with their own like experience. They cannot have it with their own abilities. They always believed in a way that, you know, the only way that they can get some type of advantage in life when it comes to money, when it comes to jobs, is just like pushing other person down so they can have something, you know. There's a saying in Turkish, like, I don't know, some people would just find it quite familiar. If you ask a Turkish person, okay, would you like to increase your money, have some type of promotion and, you know, some type of upgrade, or would you like to see that other person is having a downgrade or having some type of uh, decrease in their money, that Turkish person is going to choose the second one. There's a saying like that, <laughs> okay? I know it is not the true way of saying things. I'm not saying that all the Turkish people are the same. Of course not. But we have seen a lot of people, they don't want to succeed. They want to see others to fail. And such hostile environment can be really difficult to live in and grow. And I know that. And I think you are going to face something like that. But let's see what the... Candle wax is going to tell you about this circumstance, okay? I don't know who that is. I don't know, where, you know, why they are doing it. I would like to focus on the positive, but I have a feeling like I'm going to see something negative as well. Should I burn the black candle first? Yeah, just let's talk about this negativity first, and then we are going to talk about the money matters, okay? Good things for you. I'm going to talk about that too. All right. Thanks for watching my videos. I don't think enough. It means a lot. I hope that it will be helpful to you one way or another. Okay? Okay, this negativity that I saw, like, there's like a face of this thing, okay? This person is not even hiding it anymore. There was a time that this person was hiding their agenda. They were just like, you know, the saying, uh, nice comes with an agenda kind is genuine this person was being nice you know the nice guys you know the nice guy always has an agenda this person had some type of agenda and now they're not even hiding it anymore they are just like facing things in a way that they always they for some reason they believe that you are going to lose something and they're going to win but it is not going to be the case and when they see it they're going to act in a negative way, in, with an anger, they are going to have some type of backlash and they would like to project that backlash to you. You will see that, you know, they're going to come up to you and say that it's all happening because of you. It's all happening in this way because of you. You don't want me to succeed in life. You don't want me to have something nice for myself. You are the one who is just like blocking it. They're going to say something like that. Like some type of argument I see, you know, some raised voices, like some people are just like being negative. And the only thing I can say from your side is like, you're going to, you know, protect yourself. You're going to, you know, don't touch me, stay away from me. Don't talk to me in this way. Like some type of boundaries that I see. You are going to go with that. It could be like a co-worker, it could be like a younger person, to be honest. It could be a person that, you know, who started everything like, oh, I admire your work, I take you as like a role model, I would like to be successful as you are, too. Like you are a bitter grown-up person who's just like blocking me from growing. 
that type of an energy I had. All right. Like, there's a snake who is biting itself in here. That's what I saw. Its own tail. You know, it is biting. Some type of smokes I see. If there's a smoke, there's a fire, you're going to see that. Like a smoke show. Like a shadow. This person's going to show it, nonetheless. This person's going to show it. I saw nurses. I don't know if you're a nurse or if you're working in a hospital or maybe you had to go to hospitals. And a lot of nurses I see, I don't know why, like nurses are just like coming up together and just like talking about something. A lot of nurses. Or if you are a nurse and if you are not really happy with the payment or something like that, it could be like a, you know, the union type of a thing and everybody is coming together to just like fix some type of problem, something like that. So nurses, I don't see negative things about the nurses, by the way, it's just totally different subject. You will receive some amount of money or you will receive the news about this money, okay? Congratulations, you get this thing, you won some type of money or something, some type of bonus. Or maybe, what it could be, like something that you earned with your own hard work, but you were not expecting it to come to that specific time, all right? And you are receiving the news like, okay, you will receive that money this month for argument's sake. Before you do anything about it, somebody is going to come up with some emergency. They don't know if you are receiving the money or not, okay? It is not like calculated way to do things. It's not like, okay, this person's trying to scam me, this person's trying to get money out of me. No, no, it's not like that. But energetically, this person is feeding off of you, okay? You don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything about this person, like what money that you're having. You don't have to explain like what kind of money that you're going to have. This person is on your energy. They know one way or another, they know. Even though you don't say that, they know that you will receive some amount of money and they have to address their emergent, you know, monetary situation at that specific moment. Like, oh my God, like what a coincidence, isn't it? I had a similar message like that once. I do remember. Some type of gossip is going on around you and regarding work, regarding money that you are making. Look, guys, like you are going to receive something, you're going to achieve something good, okay? You will have something for yourself. It could be something like, you know, a hobby that is turning into like a money-making mission or something like you started as like a fun thing and it is turning into a money. Like maybe you didn't even have that type of expectance, like when it comes to money, like you were not expecting it to turn into like a money-making situation. Everybody knows it before you do. Why it is like that? Like, they calculated every penny on your behalf. And like, why they are doing it? Why they find it so comfortable to just talk about your money, what you're making, what you're having, some type of negativity I see. Look, if you talked about like you got scammed one way or another, you know, somebody tried to scam you, you know, getting some type of help from other people regarding this issue could be really important, but at the same time, when you talk about those type of things, other scammers are just like shoving up at your door like, okay, this person can be scammed. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to consider that. They are going to see it as like an opportunity. So please be careful who are you, you know, talking to when it comes to like scamming issues and anything because they can, you know, other people can grow and all of a sudden like, hey, I have an offer for you. And you know that it is a scam, but, you know, they're just, like, showing up as, like, yeah, I have, like, a beautiful offer for you. We can work together and we can make money together. And you know that, no, 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 no. And they are showing up because maybe once you talked about, like, the scammers, it's just like, no, no, stay away from it, no. You know, if we are looking to the keeper cards, I would say that, you know, we will see the false person and, you know, the thief and those type of cards. I know that somebody is just like trying to get something out of you. They are keeping the secrets. They are hiding the truth. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, totally different message. Take it as it resonates, all right? If you are... Applying for a job 
And this person that you are talking to is just like giving you the promises and you know, you could make this amount of money, you can get premium over this type of a project that you are pitching. And you know, maybe they are just like giving you all those type of promises, like we can do so many things together. I was doing this thing so many years and now we can do it together. You know, I cannot be enough for myself now, I need help and those type of things, you know. You know, they're giving you promises, but it is not on paper for arguments like that premium that I was speaking of. If they say like, if you pitch a project for me, then I will give you the premium for it. Make it sure that it is signed, make it sure that it is on the paper because, you know, when you pitch those type of projects to this person later on, they can be like, oh yeah, I already knew that person. Oh, I already had that type of project in my, you know, work agenda. It's, it's not something that you came up with. It is not something like you did it. I already knew them. You know, they are going to just like steal those type of things from you. I don't know why so many people are just like trying to steal from you and from your efforts. And mm, I think you are a little bit surrounded with the negativity in this way when it comes to work, when it comes to money. Please be careful. You know, it could be also the similar thing that you are applying for many things and no one is replying back. And it, it is stealing. It is stealing. It is stealing your time. It is stealing your, you know, the your hopes, your joy, they're stealing your, you know, expectations for a really good life on not really good grounds. So please be careful what type of energies that you're surrounding yourself with. If you are, like, you have to find a job, right? For argument's sake. You have to find a job and you, you are maybe applying to 200 different places. But really? Would you really go to those places and work? Would you really, you know, or are you applying because you are, you know, you feel a little desperate, like no one is hiring you and that's why you have to apply everything that you can see. It could be like an illusion, you know, in a way that, you know, I can, I can imagine myself working in that place. I can imagine myself going to that office, but really, is it really something that you want or is it something that you are just applying out of, you know, desperate moves. Please be careful about that because that type of negativity can bring a lot of negative people to you. Please be very, very careful about that. You don't have to apply to 200 jobs. I understand like you are looking for a job. I understand you would like to find something to feed you and feed your family, but job hunt is not about how many jobs that you're applying. I think this is something that you have to see. All right. I see somebody is competing with you without your knowledge. You don't even know that this person is competing with you. You know, this could be a family member. This could be like a brother or if it is a brother, it could be like a younger or like, I don't know why I felt like a masculine energy. Even it could be like a father too, you know. I don't know why a father would just compete with a child. I don't know. But what I saw is like, when you are talking about the things that you would like to focus on in your life, what type of jobs that you would like to have, what kind of workload that you are getting into, when you're talking about those type of things, they are not even listening. They're just like trying to change the subject just because they don't want to hear it from, just because they cannot, they cannot, you know, hear it from you because maybe they would like to have something for themselves and they cannot have it. And when you're talking about it, they find it a little difficult to listen to it. Even though this person could be like, you know, a family member, you know, all the good stuff, you know? But no, 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 something is off, something is off. And I think you you have that feeling already. I think you have that feeling. If you don't have that type of a dynamic in your family member, like in your family and with your family members, please discard that. It is not about you, but I'm speaking about the people who already have that type of a thing. They can expect such a thing, okay? Why do you have those type of negativities? It's because I think you're going to achieve something really, really nice. You know, you will have something really, really nice. And energetically, this, these people are just like sucking everything that you have, all the energies, like all the potentials. You know, you have the dreams and they don't have those type of dreams. Not because they're stupid or, you know, they cannot just think of something for themselves or anything like that. No, but look in what you have and, you know, focusing on what you have in general. It is, 
easier for them to feel sorry for themselves one way or another. And I know we all are having difficult times when it comes to money. Economy is not really that great for nobody. But they always feel like victimized. They feel victimized when you're trying to find a way out. Like there was a, okay, there was a uh, little fable. It was like related to two frogs, I think, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to put it down and I'm going to talk about the frogs for a second. <laughs> I think it was like two frogs were just like uh, getting into some type of uh, jug of milk. They were trying to drink the milk and then they fell into this jug, okay? And then uh, one of them was just like, they were trying to swim it, they were trying to just like get out of that place, but they couldn't. And one of them was just like, okay, I'm not even trying anymore. I'm, I know I'm gonna die. Nothing is going to happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. The other one is just like trying to get out of that place and they are trying to swim. They were trying to, they were struggling, okay? They were struggling making a movement in the milk. And the other one was just like, it's pointless. Nothing is going to happen. And it dies. The other one who's just like struggling and just doing a lot of things to get rid of that place, you know, to get out of that jug was turning milk into butter because of the movement. And then when it turned into butter, it was easier for that frog to get out of that place. And the other one is just like, go down to the oblivion. Meanwhile, the one who was trying good enough was just like saving their lives. I think you will have something like that. Okay, let's see your opportunities, whatever we can see about this situation. Take it as it resonates, guys. You know, it doesn't have to be all about you. I see some type of connection through internet. It could be a connection through LinkedIn, some type of online project that I see for you. This online project is going to give you some type of payment. It is not going to be that much, but it will be, um, you know, it is going to pay you something. And you're going to think of, okay, you know what? Actually, I can have more of the things like this one, more the, you know, online projects like this, maybe like a, an AI thing, AI training thing, could be something like that, some type of uh, control, some type of like, you know, the QC I'm speaking of, some type of like, okay, I'm going to vote what is good and what is not good. And those type of things can happen. You will, you will have something like that. I also see something that is going to happen online. Like, and again, I, I don't know why I would like to go with LinkedIn, but a LinkedIn profile who's checking out you and a LinkedIn profile who is just sending you a message. And this person is going to be an important person. Maybe you looked at their page before. This person could be from a, you know, a person from the industry that you would like to get in. And you will, you will hear from them. You will definitely going to hear from them. You will see that this person is interested. You will receive some type of delayed message from a place that you applied before. Okay, this, you know, application, maybe you did it during May or maybe April. And they were interested for a while, but then they disappeared. Okay, and they will come back. They will come back and they will talk to you about this thing. They would like to have an interview with you. And you will be like, okay, why now? I think you will figure it out. It could be related to timing. Maybe some things have been delayed for them as well. And now they would like to have something different. Or it could be like, yes, they, uh, they were interested with you. But at the same time, they were looking for something else back at the time and you were not filling that gap. And now they are looking for exactly the type of you, you know, the person like you. They are looking for, for another kind of a project, another kind of job and they are going to come at you directly. They are not going to look for anyone else. They would like to talk to you from the beginning. They would like to have you this time, you know. This is tailored for you this time. And you are going to feel, okay, this is better. Actually, this is way better than the other one that I applied for. You know, the same place maybe, but with a better option, better job offer, I see. You will get paid a little bit more maybe. You will have some type of progress. It is going to make you feel so good. You know, it could be like a um, 
like a university. You 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 wanted to get into this college for like a work related situations. They didn't get you, but this time they will get you. It could be like a college place, like a, I see a campus. I also see some type of radio, and you know the radio appliances, like not like the radio appliances. This is not the word that I'm looking for. Like the studio for a radio, you know. Uh, I see headphones, headsets. And on air sign, I see on air sign. I also see some type of a camera. It could be like a podcast, honestly. Yeah, it could be like a podcast. They're going to offer you like a podcast thing. You know, they want you to do this podcast for them or something like that. It could happen like that too. Like maybe a combination of radio and internet, something like that. You know, a, you know, a picture of. Like we are doing a lot of things and let me show you on internet type of like a promotion for you and for them. A lot of music, a lot of joy and happiness meeting with new people and again, young people. Young people all over, like I don't know why, young people. I don't know how old are you, okay, you could be 20. If you're 20, this person is like 15, okay? That's what I feel, like young people. If you're like 35, then this, these people are just like at the early stages of their 20s, something like that. Dealing with them. Please be careful about that. Again, I have to remind you that, you know, they are coming off as like a beautiful, oh my God, you're my role model. I would like to be successful as you are. Two, you are ruining my life so quickly. Please be careful about that, all right? Before September ends, I'm filming it during September and normally this should be like a timeless reading But I am going to put a time stamp on it like literally this this is related to September I cannot shake off the feeling but before September ends you will receive two different payment Two different income from maybe two different places One is something that you are expecting you know that it is going to come to you the other one You cannot see it now, but you're going to get it before September ends, it is not like something that you are doing this month and then they are going to pay you like 45 days later. No, 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 it's not like that. That is different. What I saw for you, you will get a payment, two types of payments. And it is going to make you feel, okay, thank God. You know, September was like a really good month for me to make money. You have a big fish and big uh, blessings, which is talking about like good projects that you will get involved with. But I have a feeling, can I talk about it? I have a feeling like those type of projects are going to be like projects that either you are initiating or it is going to be related to you specifically. Like it is not a an institution and it is not like a, you know, a company thing that you are getting involved with. It is like personalized in a way that you know you could be like a freelancer for this thing that like you're working for them some type of like personalized way of doing things some type of like a freelance thing for you that's what i saw somebody is really impressed with your hard work and your experiences and what you can provide to them and they will come back for another project after this you know you will get a project with them and then they are going to be so impressed with it and they are going to come back for another one and another one and another one. And you will feel, you know, it would be better if I was working here all alone. <laughs> you know, we will have that kind of feeling. This is nice type of like a growth for you. But when you have the growth, some people are going to be like, nah. You know, they will have... Negativity all around you. Again, I have to say that. Why they are feeling this negative. It's going to be different for everybody, but... You're achieving. You are maybe like overachiever. You have to do a lot to get the life that you want. There's no other way for you. Okay? You, you don't have the luxury of like, mm, maybe this month I will not work. You don't have that type of a luxury. But it could be a blessing and it could be a, a curse at the same time because you feel like you are obliged to do certain things and it can actually create some type of negativity when it comes to like, I have to pay the bills, I have to feed my family. 
And those type of negativities, those type of anxieties can bring you to like some type of acceptance of low life jobs. Please be careful about that. Okay. Again, I have to talk about like, you don't have to apply for 200 different jobs and you don't have to do that. It can be like a tiresome thing, but you will, you will achieve a lot of things this month. And you are going to see that maybe this time I don't have to put myself in a position that I have to deal with low life scum and you know, those type of people, you're going to feel like it. Maybe this time I will focus on the nice type of people that I can deal with on LinkedIn this time. Maybe I will find the people who are already in the industry this time. You will have some type of upgrade when it comes to dealing with other people, okay? And it is not easy to have it. Honestly, it is not. I wish I could tell you that you're going to be lucky for having all those type of... But, you know, luck has nothing to do with this thing. I don't think so. You know, luck can be important in some times, but in your case, whatever, you know, the message that you're looking for, it will come to you through your hard work and effort and dedication and your you know, punctuality, and you are good at what you're doing, basically. You are good at what you are doing. Whatever that is, cleaning a toilet, you're really good at that. Being a waiter, you are the best waiter in town, like, literally. Like, something is amazing, superb quality. And, you know, when you are, like, a waiter and you're the best waiter in the town, some people are going to be, yeah, you're, but you're a waiter, you are a waiter just that try it for a day let's see what you're gonna do you know maybe you are looking for some type of validation from the people all around you like family members maybe young ones maybe you have children and they're just like mom your job is nothing dad your job is like absolutely shit you know <laughs> they are just being a little i don't know displeased with what you are doing and how you are doing it maybe they don't have to understand it they don't have to they're like silly young people you know they can be like that but you have to protect yourself from those type of negativities and i think this is what you're going to learn this month basically not because you need to learn it but it will show itself to you one way or another Some type of validation that you are looking for, maybe, it will come to you through the professional settings. It's not going to come to you through family or, you know, the friend circle. It is not going to come to you from the people who doesn't even understand what you're doing. It will not come to you from those type of people. And um, when you have right type of attention from the right type of people, from the professionals, from the right type of professionals that you would like to get involved with, that you will see that progress is inevitable. You will feel really, really good about it. I see really good things, you know, after all, after all that negativity, you know, trying to get something out of your type of negativity. This was like a really good kind of reading. I like this one. I hope that you did too. Please take it as it resonates, okay? But the nurses, I don't know about that nurses. What's happening with the nurses? Oh, I wish I could know. Sometimes it just like pop up in my head. It's beautiful. I would like to put this down. Okay. What else I can see? I think what you are going to have this month as well, like a some type of expense test that you have to do okay this expense is something that you cannot get rid of it is something that you have to do you know no matter what you have to face it no, you know it could be a broken pipe it could be <laughs> like you know a little insignificant thing but it is creating a lot of problem for you maybe you have to deal with now so it wouldn't be broken later on for argument's sake okay something that you have to pay it now it is going to be better for you if you just like uh, you know save some money for that thing so you can pay for it now it will save you money so please be careful about those type of things when it comes to like managing the money what you are going to pay you know what kind of priorities that you're going to have related to the house related to what you own like insurance maybe please be careful about that please don't skip the insurances please do not because i have seen Oh my God, I have seen so many people who were suffering from the insurance they didn't make. You know, insurance is just like, how much was it? 
when we were doing it, like 300 bucks, okay, for a year. It was like that for the earthquake insurance. It was mandatory even. And some people in Turkey, they were like, oh, no, I'm not going to pay for it. It is too much money. I don't have to pay every year. They didn't pay it. And now they don't have a house because of the earthquake. They cannot get paid from the state. They lost everything. It was just 300 bucks for a year. Well, it was, it was worth it. It was worth it. And, you know, seeing those type of things... It's just like, I had a friend, <laughs> I have to say that, my friend was just like having this father who was a religious type, okay? This person was like so religious in a way that uh, it, you, it would be impossible to talk to this person in, in a normal way. I do remember that this person, <laughs> so he, he got himself a car, okay? He didn't make a car insurance. And, <laughs> you know, the first day, he didn't make a car insurance. And you have to make those type of things, right? Like, of course, nobody is asking for a, an accident. Nobody is looking for those type of negativity. But just in case, you have to have those type of insurances. And, and he was like, I don't need an insurance for my car. I have my God with me, he said. The exact same day, he crushed his car and he had to buy a new one because he was not insured like biggest like it was like the <laughs> and everybody was like making fun of it I'm sorry but everybody was making fun of it all right and he was like my God is my insurance and then God showed him the insurance it was great way to show it <laughs> so still you know the similar things that can be said when it comes to like the marriages and you know the prenups and those type of things obviously nobody is asking for a divorce obviously nobody is planning for a divorce but things happen you know we are human negativity can happen make it sure first for yourself and then you can think of like what can happen later on before you go can we please just a little keeper i know some people are just like finding it incorrigible that i have an obsession with keeper cards but these days they speak to my soul. <laughs> All right. Let's just open this thing for a while. Okay. What you can expect when it comes to money. What you can expect when it comes to work. What kind of energies that are around you. All right. I would like to see that. Okay. Distant horizons, some type of money will come to you from a far, far away. You're like working online again, a project that is coming to you from China or like a project that is coming to you from United States, something like that. Online thing, online, yeah, online expectations. All right, mature man is always like a good thing to see when it comes to like the career readings, like the money readings, because this person knows what they are doing. But let me see. Okay, some type of offer that I see. Look, lover's card, when I look for the love readings, lover's card never show up. And when I'm looking for the money reading, lover's card shows up. It's just so annoying. No, this, uh, this is like an offer from afar. From a person who knows things in a good way. They are not taking advantage of you. Again, the mature energy. Maybe you have to be the one who is being mature. Like, they feel like there's a connection. They feel like there's like a... Mm, like, you know, some type of agreement can be struck. Again, look. See? A thief. Over there. Somebody is trying their chances to get it from you. You know, because you are the grown-up, the other one is the young one. They are feeling like, oh, you are stealing something from me. You are stealing my spot. You are stealing my success. That type of a feeling is a little too heavy, okay? But, you know, you're distancing yourself. Nope, nope, I'm not, I'm not, you know, dealing with you. No, thank you very much. Okay, the house is... I'm going to read this house card as like... Dealings with the house, dealings with the expenses at the house. You can have something like that. 
Ooh, some type of unexpected money, some type of, okay, also this, you know, you, you are getting paid in this, but also this, something is going to make you feel really, really happy. You see, unexpected income. Before this month ends, you are going to receive a really good kind of a money and really good kind of a success, honestly. So what I can say, uh, this month is going to be really productive. If you focus on your own energy, what you can have, things will come to you, things will flow. And when you have that type of a thing, when you have like a success that is brewing in your corner, you're going to feel really good. But somebody is just like trying their chances. Please be careful about that. All right. That was all. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye.